Hello there. I'm going to get you started uh, on Revit templates and just do a short little demonstration for you. So if you downloaded one of our templates or if you have your own, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, the file, new, project. Uh, and what you'll do here is you'll browse and you'll look for where you downloaded your template or our template. I already have mine loaded. Uh, it takes a second to load. So I'm going to hit cancel, cancel, and we're ready to go. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to resave it. So you don't want to, if you just save it as your template, that means if you built a house in here, the next time you open up a template, there'd be a house in there. So we don't want to do this. Do that. So you want to go to file, save, and then you want to save it as a project. Save it anywhere you like on your desktop and um, in one of your folders. Uh, I already saved it, so we don't need to do that. So the first thing I want to explain here is uh, how, how the levels work. So you're on your main floor plan, and if we go to the section and we right click on it and we hit go to view, you'll see all the levels that we made. So your main floor plan view, floor plan view, correlates with the main TO subfloor. Now TO means top of, so that means the top of the subfloor. Right here, your main top of plate. This is in between these two lines is your first level. In between the top of the foundation and the top of subfloor, that would be your floor box. Below here would be your basement, and above here, above here would be your upper story. And in between here, in between the top of the plate and the top of subfloor would be your second floor floor box. So if we go back to our main view, let's just draw some walls. And how we have it set up and how uh, you should have it set up is that you should have a stud wall layer and then an exterior finish layer. So we're just going to put in a uh, five and a half inch wood framing with a half inch gypsum just on the interior. We want to make sure we're on the exterior. So when we're drawing this, if you hit space bar, you can flip your wall. And let's make a 12 foot wall by 20 foot by 12 foot. And let's just connect it. Let's go back to our section. Let's grab it all. If you hit tab, it'll cycle through and you click on it and it'll highlight all your walls. And we see we have it the main top of the subfloor all the way up to our top constraint, which is the main top of the plate. We go to the view here, we can see that bam, our first level is right where we want it. Um, if we go back there, I want to show you one thing about how these levels are set up. So in architecture speak, you normally always start at architectural 100, that's a base. So there's a difference between your kind of generic base level and your reality level. And you can switch from that to a project, which will show you what you're at in real life. So we have it at 6,100 feet because we work up in Boulder, Denver area. Uh, you can change that by relocating your whole project. Um, or when you put in things like your site, you just got to know what your elevation is at uh, so that it comes in at the right height. If you're putting in your site and you aren't seeing it, look down about a thousand feet and you'll probably find it. So we're just going to switch that back, go back to the main floor plan. And now we're going to put in our floor. We're going to put in, you got a whole bunch of different options here. We're going to put in the 11 7 8 eye joists. You can click, there's different ways to draw it. I just use a square. Some people like to lock it. Some people think it's cumbersome. Um, when you lock it, it means that it'll just move with the walls. This, the little two lines here, means your span direction. So that's which way the joist would go. I'm going to switch it over to this side because that's the way that my joist would span in real life. Go back to, here's our section. Let's see if it's in the right place. And it is. It's perfect right there. There's a little bit of space right there. That's where you'd put a two by six in your detailing um, that would connect to your foundation wall. Go back to the main floor plan. Now let's add your exterior sheathing. Go to your wall. Let's do six inch horizontal siding. Uh, you can see your base constraint, main top of subfloor to uh, upper top plate. So this is why we uh, kind of draw them in two separate ways. Now you can bring it down. You can bring this down to your top of foundation. And what that will do is that that 
means your sheathing will go down and cover your floor box. If your walls were all, uh, if your exterior wall was attached to your stud frame, you wouldn't be able to put it over your floor box, um, just like you would uh, in, in construction. We're going to make sure that we are, uh, our location line is on the interior. So when we snap on here, it's the interior side of our wall. Oops, I went to center line. Let's just redo that. Finish space interior. So when we click on here, yep, it's our interior wall. Boom, 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 boom. Got that going. And I did, I put the finished wall on there before I put my roof. And the roof is because I want to have an overhang. And typically your overhangs are going to be one foot. So I can snap onto the wall and it will automatically put it away one foot. Not from the stud wall, but from the exterior wall. So right here you'll see your slopes. I only want my slopes in two directions, so I'm going to uh, click here to undefine that so that it, so it doesn't slope in that direction. There's two ways to change your slopes. You can do it right here on the grid. I'm going to make my 12-12 pitch. I'm going to click here. You can also do it in the properties tab. 12-12 pitch. Check. And then we want to put this not on the main top of the soft floor, but the main top of plate. So we're going to move it up. And then we're going to see that it's there and that it's ready to go. Oops. Delete that. So let's grab the exterior wall and see, we want that at the main top of plate. There we go. And then we want this, the main, we want this at the top of foundation. So I just covered up our floor box. Um, I'm going to attach the exterior sheathing to the roof. I'm going to do that on the other side too. It would rotate. There we go. Attach there. And now I'm going to add some fascia to my roof. So I'm going to go to the roof. I'm going to go to the pull down menu. I have some different profiles I can use. I'm going to use the one by six. I'm just going to click around my roof. Now I have a nice fascia. That's nice. Now let's add some doors and some windows. So I'm going to go to my door. I want to, I'm going to do a front door. So I want a glass door 36 by 96 seems good. I'm going to place it in there and I can use these toggle switches to change my rotation. I'm put a window in. I'm going to put a 36, 36 by 54 looks good. I'm going to put it in here. And then I'll work on dimensions just in a sec. So these aren't aligned very nice. But what I'm going to do is do the dimensions. I do DI. And how you should dimensions here. I'm going to turn this into thin lines. So up here where my mouse went, you can have your thick lines or you can have thin lines. It's easier to work here in thin lines. So how I like the dimension is that you dimension from your stud wall. So if your dimension line isn't going where you want, you can hit your tab button and it will cycle through. It will cycle through the options. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, wow, there we go. You gotta be closer or else it'll get you that annoying sound. And I'm gonna click in the center there and I want that window to be centered. So what I'm gonna do is hit equal. Let's move this down and now it's centered on my wall. The next thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna align these properly. So I'm going to click the align tool, which was AL for hotkey AL, and then where I want something aligned to and what I want to align there. You can again lock them if you want, but I don't necessarily do that all the time. So there's your align tool. The windows are in the center. And let's have a look. Ah, as you see, there are no windows. Now why is this? Some of you might know. And the reason is that you have to join your walls. So if you click on your wall, you click join, 
and you join the outside wall with the inside wall. And what that allows you to do is for your doors to cut through and your windows to cut through. So you go there, there, and one last one. Now we'll take a look at the outside. There's your front. Let's rotate around. It'll take a sec. And there's your house. So I hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, hopefully I'll have more up soon and keep checking back. Thanks.